In this segment, I will demonstrate the export feature. Once tests have been generated, we have the option to export them in several different formats, and we initiate that by clicking the export tag over here, and we see that we have several different options. First, we can again select the strength of the test set we want to export, and we can export it to Excel, we can export it to HP Quality Center, or we can export it as a CSV file, which we might use for import into other test automation tools. So let's look at the example here of what happens when we generate an Excel format, which we would typically do if we're going to hand this off to a tester for manual execution rather than uh, as an import to a test automation tool such as HP Quality Center. So to do that, we click Export. We then uh, have an option to open the file with uh, typically would be Microsoft Excel, though uh, you could use something else. We'll click OK. We may get this message here that it's uh, it might be in a slightly different format, but in fact uh, it's in a perfectly acceptable format for Excel. We just click OK. We see that we now have a table of contents. There are a number of different tabs in this export. Uh, there's a list of the inputs we've already provided, the invalid pairs we defined, any value expansions. We could have added notes to this uh, test plan if we wish to do so, and then the actual list of the tests that were generated. In this case, we generated two-way. We'll frequently find it is convenient uh, to select all of these columns and format them slightly differently for convenience. For instance, we might often uh, elect to wrap text so it's a little more readable. We might also elect to center things again to make it a little bit more readable. We could resize columns if we wish to do that. Uh, in any case, we would now have a spreadsheet that typically would be handed to a tester and uh, what this information, the information provided, each row is an individual test case and each column is a successive values that the tester is intended to input as we have described previously. You'll remember in test case one the ship two state was Kansas, in case two it was Pennsylvania, and so on. So this information can conveniently be used by the tester in the case that we're giving them fairly explicit instructions, scripts, uh, as to exactly what we want them to enter, but recalling that we did in many cases uh, provide a number of options, leaving it to tester discretion uh, exactly how the data would be entered or what would be entered. Hexawise is a software test design tool. To sign up for free licenses, see http colon slash slash hexawise.com and for more instructional videos, see hexawise.tv.